happening here as more folks start to get the vaccine. At what point could you maybe go and hug your grandparents again? Well, it turns out if they have received the shot, it might be sooner than you think. The WCNC Charlotte's Rachel Lundberg is here with this story. So many of us, myself included, have not hugged our grandparents in over a year. Most of elderly people have remained in isolation to avoid catching COVID-19. But are those efforts changing now that many have been vaccinated? They're both vaccinated and you go visit them and you're feeling well and hopefully have been, you know, you know, uh, generally socially distancing and staying safe. The chance that they would become ill from that visit is very, very low. I can't tell you it's zero. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Helen Jacoby says on average, the vaccine is 95% effective at preventing serious COVID infection. The biggest thing to remember though, your grandparents must have received both doses and be two weeks out from the second shot. It's important to take into account uh, the person's immune status. You know, if grandma or grandpa has, you know, a transplant or is undergoing chemotherapy for cancer or something, the vaccine might not work as well as it would in, um, in most people. She says it's safer to see them if you're vaccinated too. But again, the chance still isn't zero. As for masking during your visit, you don't necessarily need to if you're someone who stays socially distant and wears a mask most of the time. The safest thing to do is, yeah, you go visit them in their home. You decide you're not going to wear your masks. You know, you're feeling well. They've been vaccinated. You know, the fewer people you come into contact with without a mask, the safer it is for everybody. So we asked the question, can you hug them? Oh, yeah. Once if you're seeing them without a mask, you can hug them. And Dr. Jacoby is practicing what she preaches. My mother is in Florida and she's getting her vaccine and I am making plans to go and visit her. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm Rachel Lundberg.